I like this idea of a five kind of foundational mm -hmm. pillars. The way to think of it maybe is as what you're trying to do is give your system buoyancy, right? Right. Like you want to have buoyancy so that when other stuff hits, you're resilient. And that could be bacterial infection, viral infection, argument with your spouse, um, mm -hmm. bad day, good day, whatever. Okay. You want buoyancy. There's no replacement for these five things. And it, I could say in no particular order, but let's just say, let's start with one that everyone needs to get sufficient amount of quality sleep most nights. Eight hours? Some six people need hours. five. Most people need between six and eight. Mm -hmm. Teenagers, young kids, let them sleep as much as they want. Number two, it is important to get movement, like about it, and ideally an hour a day of some sort of movement. Okay. If you're skateboarding, great. Walking? Walking's low key at a minimum, but you're trying to get some movement where your heart rate's up and your breathing Vigorous movement. Yeah, so skateboarding could be many hours, but you know, depending on, but an hour a day of weightlifting or Cycling. Running or cycling or <laughs> Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, if that's your thing. Vigorous oh. movement. Movement. Get yes. some movement. Get your heart rate up. Get your breathing up. Okay. You'll you'll live longer. You'll feel better. So many reasons. Beautiful. Cardiovascular health, brain health. So many reasons. Okay. So sleep, movement every day. Mm -hmm. If you miss one day per week, that's okay. But then get right back to it. Just figure out a way. Okay. Hotel room doesn't matter. Could mm -hmm. be burpees could be jumping jacks whatever oh. next one sunlight get some sunlight in your eyes ideally in the morning if you wake up before the sun comes out flip on bright lights and then get outside once the sun is out just get as much sunlight as you can wear sunscreen if that's your thing mm -hmm. some people do some people don't but just like so don't burn don't get skin cancer but get sunlight in your eyes and don't stare at the sun got you you'll know if you're staring at it too long because it'll hurt <laughs> Wait, you know. nighttime yeah. reverse that. nighttime Does limit the limit. bright light exposure dim right. those lights maybe buy the inexpensive red light, red bulbs. light bulbs and really like the cheapest ones are great okay. you're really just trying to get dim red light okay. if you want to do red light therapy that's a whole other discussion okay so then it's sunlight is the third nutrition yes keto carnivore omnivore you know vegan vegetarian whatever just Try and get 75 to 80% of your food from non-processed or minimally processed foods. And if you can get 100% of it from that, great. But, you know, you got to live life every once sure. in a while. You got to have an ice cream cone, like, yeah. you know, yeah, like yeah, a yeah. slice of pizza. Well, it's chip, okay. Chips you know? away, cookie. You're not going to dissolve into a puddle of tears, you know, hopefully. <laughs> so that's really key. Okay. And then, of course, some people are overweight. They need to lose weight. Some people are underweight. They need to gain weight. Some people like to don't like to eat early in the day. I don't really like to eat breakfast. I'm more of first meal around 10, 11. Me too. But like today I knew I was coming here and I was kind of hungry because I went to bed so damn early last night. So I ate on the way here. Okay, so figure out what works for you. Then the next thing would be, so we've got sleep, movement, mm -hmm. sunlight, nutrition. Yep. Social connection. Social uh, connection. Just make... Do what you can to make the interactions that you have online and in reality with friends, with family, like as healthy as possible. And listen, I'm no psychologist, but I can tell you that sometimes the best way to think about it is, and this sounds really kind of woo, but I, I, you know, whatever, I'm 47, I can, I'm comfortable and enough with myself, I can say this. I believe as being as in contact with people as allows you to be in your most loving stance. And sometimes that means not at all, right? There's some people like you just like, in order to continue to love them at all, you just cannot communicate with these people. Some people, because you have to communicate with them and it's a nightmare, you just try and make it as minimal as possible. Other people, you adore them, spend as much time with them as you possibly can. Right. I really mean that. Like your friends, your family, like your partner, whoever, like your kid, if you adore them, spend as much time with them as you possibly can while not giving up your profession and your health, sure. right? And some people are more introverted, some people are more extroverted, just all of that, but quality social connection. And then I think the one thing we left out is hydration. Mm, yes. Try and drink enough water, mm -hmm. make sure you get enough electrolytes, that's key too. Once you have those things in place and you make, and I would list them out. I, I list, I'd certainly list them out. And I'm just like, am I paying attention to these things each mm. day? Because when I don't, I start to veer more toward the kind of high performance stuff. Because yes, get your cold shower, your ice bath. But if you're doing that, but you're not paying attention to your sleep or you're eating not well, mm -hmm. well, then you're, you're focusing on the wrong things.